it is hot. It's boiling. It's so hot. And it's, is it because you walked in? Is it because you just showed up? Oh, yeah. No, it's not. It's not. It's because there's a heat wave where I live. It has nothing to do with you. Hum humble yourself. Humble yourself. Some people have no shame. Some people have no shame. No, they really don't, though. Let me tell you the story. So I'm on TikTok, trying to pass the time, as one does. That's what TikTok is. It's a wormhole. One day, it's the 22nd of July. The next, it's f***ing New Year's. Good, 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 good year. <laughs> good year. Happy New Year. Did you look up your phone? Are you off TikTok now? Well, it's 2023. That's what TikTok is like, right? It's a place to pass the time. While I was scrolling, I came across this video of Miss Ma'am washing her Lamborghini with what seems to be gas. <laughs> Ma'am, Ma'am has been playing too much Fortnite. She's literally, oh, look how happy. <laughs> All right, so this is, I don't know. This is obviously like supposed to be funny, okay? They're wasting gas. I've never seen gas so soapy before. But you know, nonetheless, it seems so wasteful, okay? And seeing this reminded me of that guy that you're thinking about right now, right? This dude, you're like, who the f <gasps> I thought we were on the same page. It's the heat. It's getting to you. It's okay. You know him. What are you talking about? You literally know this guy. He's the funny guy. The funny guy you love. <laughs> Remember him now? The guy who wastes so much food. He loves to do it, right? Well, he's since apologized for wasting so much food. He's here pouring this ranch sauce, remembering how he used to be, right? <laughs> no. Perfect. Everybody, a round of applause for this guy because, you know, he did the normal thing, okay? He did the bare minimum thing. No, but people are happy he's changed, okay? I'm happy you changed. Any step towards being less wasteful, self-improvement, we, we love, we love to see it, okay? But then! <laughs> it's your favorite word, but. but. But then, I came across this account. I, this, so talented, this chef. Michelin star quality. Would you think about throwing a Hershey's bar into a pot of boiling water? No. Because you're basic. You're a basic bitch. She's not. She'll not only melt the chocolate in its packaging, but then she will use a different cornflakes packaging to create the dish. That's her serving dish. Perhaps you'll like something healthier. Fried bananas. Ah, uh, you'll love this one, okay? You just dip your bananas with the f***ing sticker and peel on and everything, okay? Because, like, crunchy flavor. You love crunchy flavors, right? Take that shit out. Don't even, like, f***ing, like, you know, just take the whole stock. If you have a banana tree, just stick the banana tree into the frying oil. Mmm! Delicacy. If you, you'll, you wouldn't understand, you're not a culinary expert. Okay, well, obviously she's doing this as a joke. Well, that's the problem, bitch. What is it, supposed to be funny? Did you laugh? I didn't. I, th I thought I was learning how to make an exquisite dish. So you're telling me we were literally just wasting food? But her super useful life hacks, they don't stop here, okay? You don't have a bowl? I'm sure you have a toilet bowl. Are you catching on? Twist it in there. Oh my god, Just my smell. heart. My heart literally is hurting seeing all the milk being poured down the fucking toilet for no reason. Okay. <laughs> yep. And then watch what happens when you who raised you? <laughs> Who raised you? You want it extra creamy just because there's a little bit of water mix in there, you'll add some whipped cream. Oh my goodness, that is so extra. Yeah. Yeah, just get a couple of cherries in there. Just gonna give it a little bit of Go for it. <gasps> Look at it's turning, it's turning it, it's turning it into chocolate milk. And then it's as it comes down. up, wow. it's churning it, it's churning it, it's turning into chocolate milk, and then you just get in there and you can sip it right up. And this is why you don't eat at everybody's house. You know, this is why it's good not to eat at other people's houses sometimes. You don't know how these bitches be eating. It's, that's just disgusting. I really thought nothing was gonna shock me anymore with all the shit we've seen. It just keeps getting worse, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we headed? Where are we headed? Y'all waste food like it's nothing. What is this? Just pop that in. Ah! Wow. 
Wow, I swear to God. Who, who, who raised these people? I, my mom would have been beating me left, right, and center. Left, right, and center. If she had seen me pour ice cream down the toilet bowl like that. Or, oh my, the ice. The ice. If I put the ice, if I wasted the ice. You know, my mom wouldn't even need to say anything. Because I feel like it's common sense, you know? I, I never felt the need to waste anything, right? You'd have to be brought up some kind of way. Some kind of way to feel okay with just shoving so much food. Yes. Oh, this is gonna be so good. That looks perfect. Really mushing around. Excellent. So much food down your toilet like it's nothing. You have to be brought up some kind of way, <laughs> you know? Oh my god, bye. Bitch, bye. I can't even, like... <laughs> I can't even, I can't, I can't find you. Like, I can't even look at this. Yeah. You wanna get yourself. Oh, here we go. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. Look at this shit concussion we made. Mmm. I wonder if it tastes like... Oh, it tastes like you, honey. Yeah? This is probably because I just... Took a shit earlier. Yeah, it tastes a little sour. Sour. I don't know what kink this is. So it starts. Oh look, it is. Oh shit. It's filling up. up. Wow. It's filling up. <laughs> you're done. You're done. Pack your shit, and you're you're leaving. You're leaving this planet. Yeah. Go ahead and just get that in there. Get some ice in the punch. Oh, nice. Oh, Set the punch hi. here. Hi. One hi. for you. Uh, yeah. How'd you make it? Uh, the toilet bowl punch recipe. <laughs> I can't help it. It's so funny. Tell it's, it's hilarious. Humor. Humor. You need to work on yours. You're not even smiling. Well, you know what? I know exactly what would turn that smile upside down. That's not how it goes. No, I've, this is going to turn your smile upside down. Excuse me, did you just, did you just put your foot on a piece of bread? I don't even want to know what you're doing. I don't even care to know what you're doing. Honestly, I, I know some of you were curious. She's making a f***ing slipper out of bread. So she's not only going to stick her foot on the bread, she's literally going to wipe the floor with the bread later on. Okay. <laughs> wow. Ma'am stuck her nasty ass foot. You better be eating that bread after you're done. I swear to God, you better be putting that shit in your mouth and eating it. Mam's out here wasting food like there's no tomorrow. What's beyond me is how her comfort doing it, you know? That's what's beyond me. Like, that's what I can't fathom with some people. How are you so comfortable doing this? Like, you know, shame, shame is not really a bad thing. Not all the time, you know? Like, sometimes it's good to have shame. It's good to know shame, okay? Because shame on, <laughs> on you. It's not just her. It's her mess of a husband, too. Ooh. This dude. I'm gonna make her breakfast in bed this morning. She's making her breakfast in bed. It's so it. funny and cute. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Aw, uh, did I just waste an egg and put it all over the bed? That's so funny. Now, not only did I waste an egg, God knows how much more I'm gonna waste by all the unnecessary cleanup I'm gonna have to do. Just a little bit of eggshells in there, because we're funny. What is this toy? This, what is this toy? This literally looks like one of those like fucking pink kitchen set toys. What's really funny is kids playing with that kitchen toy. Boy, they'd be more careful with food than these bitches are. <laughs> A baby, wake up. Look what I did. I fucking wet the bed for you. It's just the ick. You know, just the sight of that egg all over the bed sheets. <laughs> but that's what they do. They make a mess, okay? They make a mess with food. Here we are, grabbing a bunch of this shit for no reason, spilling a shit ton of cake batter onto the counter, and then returning this shit back in here, and then proceeding to pour back the cake batter into this fucking thing. My, the dog's outside. Can't even handle it anymore. And we did all this for what? For this hideous, <laughs> hideous looking cake. They love making a mess. The time they made a donut cake. Ingredients? Donuts. Oh. How about
about you just fucking eat a donut? Why, is, why are you like this? <laughs> you know, she just loves to spite you. You know, you, your heart aches every time food is wasted. But that's just food, you know? Food is art. Food is literally art. And sometimes art can be messy. And she knows a lot about art. In fact, she makes it sometimes with food. That's right. Look at this beautiful exposition. Chocolate syrup expose. What is it saying to you? Entrapment? Sadness, perhaps? Not with this funfetti! Ah, oh, funfetti, yay! Throw in some strawberry syrup! Yay, strawberry! Oh, but it'll look really cool when she, like, gets up, right? Yeah. Uh, never mind, because she fucking ruined it when she turned around for no reason. And now, it's completely ruined. What is- what- And... Oh my god, okay, there's maybe, maybe, you know, we, we need an explanation. Now, there's nothing that'll really explain to us her artistic expression like her caption would, okay? Tuesdays, am I right? <coughs> I don't know, I, I don't usually, I don't usually spend my Tuesdays like this, but... Okay, it's one thing, you know, being a menace, making a mess in your own home. That's one thing. But then you take that shit outside, and we're gonna have a problem. Like, My friend Anne is about to spill her coffee all over her shirt. She thought it was funny to post this video of her just kind of like spilling coffee all over the store, and then kind of like patting down this. It's not like anyone's gonna have to clean after you anyway. She proceeds mm -hmm. to do it all over the store. What time is it? Oh, careful, careful! Aw, oh, man. You just spill. Aw. Oh. You have to be really careful next time, okay? How about this one? Are your eggs really fresh? Okay. Are you in a store? Here's how to tell if your eggs are fresh. You look at the expiry date. It's, I just, that's it. There's really not much to it. Take a piece of bread. You're just gonna ball it up. You're gonna take your index finger and your thumb. Yeah. And you're gonna pinch the bread. And you have to pinch pretty hard. It's the, drying out your fingers. Yes, it's Got drying. It. So the bread's for drying out your fingers. Y'all really know. You know what you're really good at? You're really good at pissing me off. That's <laughs> what you're really good at. That pumps air. And you're going to gently Oh my god, they really think they're funny, or like, I don't know, they really think, I don't know, they just like pissing people off. I think that's what it is. I think they get off on it, this couple. Oh my god, they're probably getting off on this video right now. This is it, no shame. This is, this is what I'm talking about. You want to Yeah. Shut the f- you better be- you better have bought all of this. The thing is, a lot of people do this shit, but they don't actually buy the things they ruin. That's why people literally, like, when you're- you know when you're buying something, you never take the first one in the row on a shelf. You always try to, like, get the one from behind. Because there's people like this! <laughs> people like this fucking a menace. menace. Is that, like, literally all y'all do? You just go to stores and <laughs> devastate them? No. Because when she's not giving you life-changing life hacks, she's taking off her underwear. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, no. Time and time again. Like, one too many times. And I were like, why? <laughs> Honestly, has that question been answered at any point in this video? She made a Sunday in a toilet bowl. Why? why? But! It's your favorite word again. I do know why she takes off her underwear. Because, obviously, she's gonna turn it into a shirt. It's that. Yeah, the coolest thing I've wow, ever I worn. Love it. Wash it. No. Did you think I washed anything I showed you today? Yeah, I'm talking about the toilet bowl. But sometimes she likes to make heartwarming videos. Basically, she takes this realistic looking baby doll, wraps it up in a baby blanket, and then proceeds to have her friends freak out when they hold it and call it an ugly baby, because that's cool. Ah, your baby's so ugly! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> right, so this was supposed to be funny, because it was a prank. We're pranking our friends. So it's real, right? It's like, ah, uh, so that's a real reaction. So if the baby was real, Miss Mam was gonna like throw it on the floor anyway, or? Oh wait, it was fake? So y'all were acting, but it was, it wasn't funny. I don't know, I just feel awkward. I just feel awkward. I just feel awkward. I just feel embarrassed for everybody right now, you know, because this was not funny. It was not cute. 
You're calling a baby ugly. Y'all messed up. It's a baby. It's a baby. Heartbreaking. Hashtag single mom. Hashtag heartwarming. Moms of TikTok. That's the target audience. Hey mamas, this one's for you. Are you a mom? This one's for you. I can't keep my baby. I can't keep him. He was born with problems. I can't afford to help him. I will leave him at this house. The woman here can't have her own babies. I don't have the money to help him. I hope she will love him even though. Behind the call, though. Oh, she's there. Oh. She... Do you not see us? <laughs> we're like literally like where I'm in your face. I'm in your face. <laughs> where are they? Oh, this is a social experiment. <gasps> So you got pissed about the feedback you got in the other ones. So you were like, okay, I'll try and make this one better. Like we are, we already know it's a doll though. So. I literally have no idea what she's like. Are we supposed to think it's real? We know it's a doll. Are we supposed to be feel touched and emotional because she picked up like a child, even though it's a, it's a fake child. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what the target here. I, what's the objective? I literally don't know, and that's what's frustrating me. But you know, one of their favorite topics on TikTok, this couple, um, besides calling babies ugly and making shirts out of underwear and completely wasting food, is their grandma. I don't know, the grandma. The grandma is a hot topic on this page. The pearl necklace grandma passed down in a balloon of ice. I guess I'll. Oh! Whoa! What? <gasps> this is my grandmother's string of pearls. That shit's definitely from a fucking souvenir shop or something. Aw oh, man, grandma is making an appearance left, right, and center. In fact, this is grandma's old wedding dress. Well, it's her old wedding dress, but her grandma gave it to her. And you're thinking, wow, this, this is the dress? This is from Target because a lot of the things grandma gave her, they're not, they're definitely not grandma's. They proceed to destroy grandma's dress, okay? And a lot of people are like, um, what have you done to grandma's wedding dress? What, you've ruined it. But we have this one woke dude in the comments, okay? He's so, he's woke. I'm beyond confused. No one sees the satire in your TikToks. So strange. It's so strange, man. Does nobody see the satire in her TikTok? It's all obviously satire. It's all obviously a joke. Right, so it was all just simply the use of irony, humor, and exaggeration to criticize other people's stupidity, right? That's what, this is what satire is, right? We're just being funny by an ironic to point out people's dumbass behavior. Right, like those people that fucking cook in their toilet bowls. We're gonna need some satire to make fun of those. Right? It's not like I'm actually wasting food doing it now. But grandma's a hot topic, right? She's always in these videos. And so they're renovating grandma's house and they discover a safe in the floor of grandma's house. It's been locked away for years, for decades. Cause that's just grandma, she's mysterious. We, she's really mysterious. We actually have never seen grandma before. Grandma's shrouded in mystery, okay? So we open up the safe. How do we know the code? I don't know. We just tried once. We figured it out. She's grandma. We know her. We open up the safe and reveal loads of cash. Tons oh of bills. Oh my god, grandma! What? New bills. What? But it was, it was locked away for years. Shut up. Grandma shouted mystery. Grandma's a time traveler. Just don't ask too many questions. Someone said, you are the kids on the playground who lied about everything daily. <laughs> That's Honestly, just look at these reactions. Oh my god, grandma! What? Tell me they don't remind you of those kids that would tell you unbelievable stories and then I swear, I swear it happened. Honestly, what a mess. These people, you know, I feel like where, wherever they're at, they're gonna make a mess. They're at the supermarket, they made a mess. At their house, they made a mess. Grandma's house, they made a mess. At the doctor's office. Wait, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Hi. 
Hi. Uh, uh yeah, I just I got so hot. Doctor, do you want to make out? <clears throat> With me? I'm going to get you a nurse. What, what is this? What audience is this for? What I swear to God, this is some weird ass kink page. Miss Man was definitely up there on my list of where have we come to TikToks? Ah, oh, satire. So who is she making fun of though? You know, isn't that what satire is? I don't know. I guess it's just not. Maybe, maybe I'm not. That's what we learned today. I'm not funny. You're not funny either. Cause you're frowning. Why does that have anything to do with you not being funny though? You're frowning. That's funny. It's funny that you frown. I think, I think, I, you know, when you frown, frown, when you frown, you look funny. Anybody ever told you that? I'm just kidding. I love you, man. You look beautiful. So beautiful, I might just like fucking make breakfast in bed for you. I'll just smear your face in bed sheets and duvet with eggs. And like, no, it'll stain my underwear. It's okay. Just take it off and we'll make it into a shirt. Oh no, but it's so stinky, man. It's, it's okay. We'll take that shirt and we'll fucking <laughs> spray paint it. And then we'll call it Grandma's shirt. Because everything's Grandma's. And then you know what? We'll fucking <laughs> stick it into a safe. Okay, I'm done. I don't know where this conversation is going. Listen, I really need to pee right now. I've been drinking a lot of water. I've been hydrating. Um, I hope you've been doing the same. Did you drink water today? Did you forget? Are you the type that's like... Water, you. Grow up. Well, I have a great life hack for you. Grab some chocolate syrup. Ever heard of chocolate juice before? What the f*** <coughs> is chocolate juice? Actually, strawberry syrup is a thing. Strawberry milk is a thing. Strawberry juice is a thing. Chocolate syrup, chocolate milk, chocolate juice? Is that the next big thing? Yeah, I think so. Wanna have some chocolate juice? Actually, that sounds real f***ed. <coughs> Never mind. Sounds like I'm gonna like shit in your mouth. I'm sorry, this video needs to stop here before we like we get more carried away than this. But you're still here. I don't know what to do. Like, it's really hard to say goodbye. Sometimes you just gotta take the first step, man. Goodbye. Okay, Bye.